Hello everyone, welcome back to another spicy Tempest Trawl run here. I brought um, Espero with me and we're gonna um, make fun of the spring banner thing. I'm kidding. Yes, <laughs> always, every year. <laughs> back for it. Back for it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm still not done. I'm almost done with um, grinding. Oh. I was gonna say, normally when we record these, you're usually like starting Tempest Trial. You're actually almost done. It's actually pretty easy because I think they made it easier to get the... The bonus? Yeah, because look what they... Something here, right? Or... Yeah, the target score, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, nice. It's nice. It helps you get just a little bit faster, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, oh, okay. Like this high score, I don't know what that is, but okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I really understand the change that they made to Tempest Trial. I yeah. just know that I'm, I'm moving through it a little bit faster. I don't quite get it. I guess <laughs> if you score higher, you get plus 3,000 to your cumulative score? Yeah, from my understanding, like, what I got was that as long as you hit, you know, one of those target scores, you're going to get a bonus every time, which is, is nice. It definitely helps you, you know, rack up those points quicker and get through it. Oh my god, you can just, like, literally auto-battle... Like, this one, I think, the the fifth one, and then... Well, that's what we do with the Bay Pass, isn't it? Oh, god damn it! here we go promoting Bay Pass again in every Tempest Trial video! <laughs> well, you said auto-battle, like... <laughs> that, doesn't mean you, that doesn't mean you need to use Bay Pass, you can just, like, auto-battle each one, but... <laughs> no, I mean, god damn it! <laughs> we're not promoting Bay Pass, it's just, it's just, it's convenient, okay? <laughs> we, we don't mean to, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> There's exactly. always a day that I go, <laughs> every Tempest we Trial, all... we always, like, promote Fae Pass with the stupid auto battle thing. It's just too good. It's too good. <laughs> uh. Okay, so, like, there's this seal, but who cares about this seal? I'm gonna talk about... <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was the last blow skill that we were missing, I think. I think it is, yeah. I think so, which, if it was, it makes sense that this is the last one, because literally... Who the hell is gonna want that? Like, who is gonna use that? I know. They haven't even made the, um, a tier 4 version, but I, I I don't think they do it? I don't, yeah, I don't even know what it would be. Like, what, like, plus 10 defense and resistance on the player phase? Like, what? Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's very bizarre. And then, um, speed death solo. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. I definitely know which unit I'm gonna want, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be using it because the solo, the solo seals are just really great. They're really fantastic. I know. I like how like the first one they gave us was like speed rest solo, and that's like one of the best ones because then like AR, everyone's a, mm -hmm. a magic unit. Yes, absolutely, and everybody. I think most units, especially units with distant counter you know, always want to beef up the res a little bit more. So I definitely think it was a really good first one. Yeah. I think at this point, we're only missing attack res solo, defense res solo, and I think that's I think that's it. it. Attack res, yeah, because we have attack speed, we have attack defense. We don't have attack res. Yeah, so I think it's just attack res and defense res. I want death res solo. That that that's a fun seal I'm waiting for. No wait. Yeah, me too. Well, no, I I'm actually both, like bo honest. both of them are good. Yeah. Yeah, I want both of them for sure. I know exactly which units I'd slap them onto. Oh my god, for death res solo, what were you thinking? Well, I've sort of made my Silas as like sort of a I don't want to say a bootleg Dusel, but like that when Dusel came out, he basically had the build that I was already working towards for my Silas, which was defense res solo four. Plus, like, the lull skill, plus quick repose, and then, yeah. So, I would give defense res solo over to my Silas, because he's a really good, like, omni tank. Uh, he just can't, like, counter, but, like, he can tank hits really, really well. Ooh. Yeah, I want, like, death res solo so I can give it to Deirdre in AR, but I don't even use Deirdre in AR. I just use, I just plot fall and I can have it. <laughs> exactly, but it's still, you know, it's fun. It's give it to her. It's what she deserves, you know. And then I gave her no follow up the other day, and I still don't use her. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that you just pour all these skill. How like your your units, the four units, the handful of units that you use must be so loaded with skills. I know, especially this one. She has like, look how slow it scrolls. It's just oh my gosh, yeah. Everything. There's so much. That's a lot. <laughs> Man. And then it gets like yeah. really garbage towards the end because I don't have any B or C skills. 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm see. Well, you got some stuff. Oh yeah, look at all those like threatened skills. <laughs> and then like time tolls. That's like the best one I gave her. Mm -hmm. For my Why infantry got... pulse team. She's got even attack wave. Is she buffing somebody else or odd attack wave? I can't count. Right, that was just when I had it. Like you know, like when it came out, and it's like, oh boy, plus six. Oh my god. Right? And it's and I just have it on her. Honestly, I would even like put uh the oat skills. I don't think the oat skills are that bad. I mean. I mean, there's Rouse think, skills, but... <laughs> I think they're okay. Because I would put one on her if I had, like, attack speed oath. I do, but I... I, <laughs> I like the oath skills and the Rouse skills. I think that they... I don't know. The reason I don't use them quite as much anymore is because, like... So many units run panic nowadays, or just lull skills in general. So, like, if I have an oath skill on a unit... There's a good chance that I'm gonna run into an enemy that's probably just gonna completely ignore it. I know, the low, so, the low meta. Yeah, because they're just so popular now. They're like a really, really good choice for for beast skills, especially for cavalry units. So, I run it, yeah, I don't use oath skills as much. A rouse skill, I still might use it every now and then if I've got a solo build on a unit, but <laughs> otherwise I, I, t I try to avoid visible buffs nowadays. Um... I don't use them super too much now. I know, you can usually just get by with, like, panic smoke yourself or, like, pulse smoke. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or run, like, a drive, the joint drive skills. Yeah, and those stack up. So, it's, yeah, those are great. My I god, I'd love to get them. my hand on, like, three joint drive attacks just to, like... <laughs> right? Oh my god, yeah, it's I mean... a good skill! <laughs> It is a really good, and I mean, I'm glad that it's now available in the Divine Code Pass. You can totally pull a male Chris and totally give yourself to. Oh, and you can get units. spurn too. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then like another another free oh, cab axe God. unit. <laughs> I know, and the part that makes me so annoyed about Sala is because I actually really I've been looking forward to this character getting into Faye. I actually really like this character. Um, but he's a, he, I don't know if you, did you play Sacred, you played Sacred Stones. He's a mage unit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell? They made him an, a, a, the, like, we literally just got Pledgy and Chris, like, two months ago. Are their stats they, the same? Or what? Have you seen? Are there what? Are their stats, like, similar? Or? They're very similar. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> yeah. So, if I remember correctly, I think... Sala has like an extra point of HP. Mm -hmm. He's got like minus one speed, and then they basically swap defense and resistance. I think that um, Sala has like five points more in resistance and less and five less defense than Chris. Like they just swap their bulk basically. Why? They're very, yeah, <laughs> they're very similar. Um, yeah. I mean, so, like, the axe could, is pretty. Mm -hmm. Good. The axe is pretty nice fodder, yeah, because it's it's not often that we get inheritable weapons that grant attack and speed. So it is a nice, it is refreshing. Although, I don't know, I wish they had made him a tome unit. I'm just so annoyed by that. I know, or like at least a ranged. We mm -hmm. know what we're lacking? Oh, another um like ranged red calf tome unit. Oh, yeah. That's like That's free, because I think the only one is like, titanian she doesn't have like attack so wow yeah i think you're right actually um that titania is definitely the only one that comes to mind yeah and then there's um, like aversa but they're but she's not a cat but she has a different utility but you're totally right they don't give us too many tome units in the grail shop i've noticed actually i mean we did get um we have a few grand hero battle units like um veld and yeah, they're just like the gimmick red tome infantry free unit that they keep giving yeah. us with like free chill skills. <laughs> right, we keep getting those, but like it'd be so much more interesting to get a tome unit or, or I'm sorry, a a cavalry unit or a flying unit. Yeah. And then they keep mm -hmm. giving us these like plus two, these like plus two skills. It's, yeah, it's awful. I do like that they gave us uh, a rouse skill though. It is nice. Rouse attack res. It was nice seeing that there. This is unlockable at 5 star, right? Yeah. Oh. There's no way that they would give it to us at 4 star. I know. That's too generous. <laughs> it is too generous. They are not called generous systems. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then, like, when was the last time you seen a unit with, like, reciprocal aid and, like, ardent sacrifice that isn't, like, a demo? 
right? Have you noticed no. that? Yeah, no. And it's so funny. I was like, look, yeah, the other day I was trying to like fodder off some skills over to one of my healers, and then I was like, I realized that Restore Plus is still five star exclusive. Like, you have to like raise your my Nana over to five star. It's order. literally on Nana, like, yeah, free to play. Yeah, it's, <laughs> mm hmm. So annoying. Yeah, the skills that are still five star locked, yeah, it's annoying. I know. It's just ugh. Mm hmm but he's a pretty good unit if you if, like if you don't want Chris he's a really good alternative yeah I like him I'm building him for sure are you keeping the axe on him I am yeah usually when I build a unit I try to, I try to make their base weapon work unless it's really really bad I really try to make their base weapon work <laughs> well oh mm -hmm. oh what were you gonna say oh no I wasn't gonna say anything yeah I'm just happy to build him up Oh, yeah, I know. I'm... Not that I'm looking for a, another axe cab unit, but... Mm. Yeah, no, we've got too many. And the mo the majority of the demotes that we've gotten have been, like, axe units. So, like, this is really just... It's really unnecessary. I know. But... Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, like, um, I know we're going a little bit back in time, but with um, Dethorba, like, instead of making her... They made her a lance unit but like in game she's a sword and i'm kind of like how nice would it have been to have gotten a free oh. a free red flying unit and like if she came with like fire sweep sword and not yeah, just be wait. another lance unit I, I didn't know she was a sword unit why did they just do that we yeah so lance calves what the hell yeah and like in genealogy uh, she uses a sword mm -hmm. and i'm kind of like yeah. when was the last time we got a free flying sword unit um, I want to say it was probably Ashnard. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I think, but I mean that was a year ago, and look how look how we're literally getting what two green axe calves back to back. So like, I don't know what's I don't know what they're thinking. Um, you're right though. I would that would have been much more. I mean, well, it would have been a little bit more interesting, I guess. Yeah, uh, and then like Veronica was a blue tome calf, mm -hmm. but I feel like we get a lot of blue units for free too yeah i feel like i don't know what i don't i just don't know what they think of when they're like coming up with the tempest trial or the grail units like they don't seem to really pay attention to how many other grail units there are that share that exact same movement type or weapon combination it, it's very strange to me because it's so heavily heavily geared towards axe units at the moment i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's too much. We've gotten so many inheritable axes, which I'm not mad at, but it's it's still it yeah, it just leaves a bit to be desired. I know. What did you think of the rest of the banner though? There's a four other units. Oh yeah, huh. I just like um it it wasn't something I wanted. I just mm -hmm. like like I think I even went to sleep and I didn't find out about it until like the next day or something. And I was like, Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, and I think that as soon as we got the silhouettes, I think everybody kind of knew that it was going to be either Fates or Awakening. Like, I don't know if you knew, but like, I, I, for me, it was really obvious the, who the characters were. Did yeah, they're, they're kind of like, it's Severa, and I was like, it's it's Julia with her pigtails. <laughs> <laughs> the delusion. <laughs> <laughs> I was being really delusional. <laughs> yeah, no. It, yeah, I recognize those twin Which tails. I was like, unless... Unless they're suddenly gonna give us a what is the healer from Epi Seven? Uh, she's a healer with pink hair. Um, uh, Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Unless Sarah was magically gonna get an alt all of a sudden, then yeah, I I thought it was also gonna be Severa and oh uh, not Owain, and Ego. Yeah, Owain didn't even make it in. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> Many people were upset about that on Twitter. I was looking at the comments and I was like, damn, a lot of people really wanted a way. I mean, I I would have also really liked to see a Wayne, but I also just don't like the Easter uh, aesthetic. I just find the outfits really, really tacky. So I'm kind of actually glad that Owain wasn't on there. I think he was actually spared, in my opinion. But um, it was a really weird banner. Um, I'm assuming none of the units tempted you at all? No, I mean, we cannot, like, talk about the elephant in the room with the, um, the red dual cavalry skill thing. Oh my god, right? Like, We've you. just been getting those back to back now. Like, I know they're really cavalry. like shoving it in our faces. Like they're aware that the meta, like the with mm -hmm. duo heroes and their like lens one ninety BST nonsense. Like they're aware that there's mm -hmm. a problem, but they won't. 
fix it and said they sell solutions. I yes. think I've said this before plenty of times, and I'll just say it again. Mm -hmm, have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they create the problem and then they sell the solution to it. Oh, yeah. But Absolutely. that is the nature of gotcha, so like, it's just. It's like, yeah, oh, I'm it... gonna take offense to it. It's just like, I know how it works, so. Yeah, it's just really interesting to me because, like, as somebody who doesn't care for these yeah. dual skills, I'm just like looking at these, at the base kits that all of these units have, and I'm like, huh, I'm just so underwhelmed it's like they're it's like they're i don't know maybe they're in my like from my perspective it feels like they're overestimating how i guess baity these these skills are i don't know do you feel compelled to use these skills at all uh not anymore no at one point you were at one point, like, I remember when I was trying to fix up my arena core, and then, like, mm -hmm. once I got into tier 21, and, like, I would... I was trying the fishing thing that you fish for high scores, and then I came to the realization, like, I can't stay in tier 21. I don't have dual units. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there, I was like, there's literally, like, no point. I, I just... I was like, okay, I can get into tier 21 easily i just can't stay and i just accepted that okay this is where i'm going to be staying mm, i see okay that's fair yeah, and i was like fair. okay yeah whatever <laughs> that makes sense okay well what yeah do? are there okay so hmm are there any weapons or any other skills on this banner that perhaps tempt you tempt you i i i don't know if i am actually but Maybe there is for you. I don't, I don't even remember skip. what skills. <laughs> I, I told you I didn't look at it. I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I have them in front of me. I know that. So, I like, I guess I'll just go in order. Uh, Severa's got, as far as inheritable skills go, she's obviously got, you know, the red dual cavalry skill. Um, she's also got low speed and resistance three, which we have seen, I think, mostly on Lysithia and, if I remember correctly, Winter Bernie. And then she's got joint hone attack. I don't know why they didn't give her joint drive attack. I thought that would have been a much better, much more tempting C skill, but they gave her joint hone attack. They can't make her that good. <laughs> they can't make her that good, I guess. Yeah. They have to I mean, spread it around. <laughs> her weapon is really, really good, though, because it has that conditional brave effect. So she's actually kind of like future proofed, I think. Like her weapon is really solid. She's like, people are like, oh my god, it's Red Tome Reinhardt. I, yeah, I remember hearing something about that. Yeah, it's a really good kit, and like, given how popular she is, it's not entirely surprising. Like, I get it. People who love Severa are gonna be really excited. Or we're probably really excited. Are probably really. Excited. They probably plus tender right now. You probably look at like the if you look in AR like the the scoreboards. I bet there's someone right there with a plus yes. ten <laughs> Severa. <laughs> you're not wrong. I'm sure you're. I'm sure that's probably correct. Yeah. Um, then there is Anigo, who, okay, he came with an inheritable bow, uh, that also grants attack speed plus five. Um, same weapon condition, like all the other inheritable weapons. Uh -huh. He's got ra rally attack speed, and he's got that G dual flying skill. Oh boy, another um, skill. Right? Because there are so many oh, green sorry. flying units. Oh, we'll, uh, well, actually, oh, there's a good amount of them. I know people are going to slap that on, like, a Raisin or something. Oh, oh, you're... I didn't think about that. You're totally right. I just that like, oh, perfect. once I saw that, I'm like, oh, there are, there are the racins. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right about that. And then he's got attack speed of rain, which is fine. Attack speed rain? Ooh. Yeah, the only other unit that has it so far is Brave Claw. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, that's... I was going to say that's good, but I was like, wait, that's a seasonal unit. Never mind. <laughs> Brave Claude? No, not seasonal. Oh no, for can... like um Inigo. Oh yeah, Inigo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But seasonal. like, it's still only on Brave Claude if you manage to pull them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, correct. Yeah, because it's seasonal. The only other way for you to get it is through Brave Claude. Yeah, he's still technically the only unit in the regular pool with it. Yep. Yeah, oh. I was I was like kind of Together, tempted by Inigo a little bit because I actually really really love Inigo. He's he is one of my favorite characters from Awakening. Um. But I just don't like his art a whole lot. Um, I don't really... I, I said this in my own video, but I don't like Penacore's art style. They, they just don't draw noses. Oh, yeah! Um, 
So I saw like the thumbnail, and you're like, "Where's his nails?" And I'm like, "Oh boy, what did they do?" <laughs> they I, do to I him. tried. <laughs> yeah, I tried to play it down, but like, I'm such a stickler for the art. Like for me, when it comes to like whether or not I will build literally any unit in Fey, it boils down to their art. Oh, and so you're vain. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, yes. I am. I will, I will admit to that. I am very vain. Yeah, I mean, no, I feel like that's everyone, right? We build units that we... I mean, if they're ugly, you probably won't build them. I mean... Absolutely. Like, who's building the Thorba? I don't know anybody. I, I think I know one person. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I know, like, one person. So... <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, somebody's building the Thorba. Somebody's got to. Um... But yeah, no, I mean, I think, I mean, to an extent, I think everybody is a little bit, but yeah, no, totally. And like, like I said, like, if a unit that I don't like, or I'm sorry, if a unit that I like happens to have, like, not great art, or just questionable art in general, it will make me not want to build them as much. So I, I'm, I'm still on the fence with Inigo, I just know that I'm not going to summon for him this banner. The only reason I would summon for him is if months from now he comes back on a double special heroes banner and he ends up color sharing with um, Gustav because Gustav has great fodder. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly, right? So if he color shares with him, then I'll be like, okay, I'll take him. But only if he does. Easy spring breezy. Oh my god, a stupid it. dragon. Can we talk about Mirror while I, I um, slap oh her with god, a book yeah. with her stupid oh, damage shit. reduction? Oh my god, I saw that in the in the video and I was like, they just gave her damage reduction for no reason. Like, no reason whatsoever. It's just it's like, really what is it like enemy phase damage reduction or just straight up? Here, I can read her weapon description. I have it in front of me. So okay. Accelerate special trigger, so she's got the slang effect already. Oh, joy. Mm-hmm. Um, by and lead. by the way, her her special is noontime, so much like Brave Edelgard, she's gonna be spamming noontime constantly to be healing herself. Uh. Um, it, if the foe initiates combat, enemy phase, or if the foe's HP is equal to 100% at the start of combat, she gets plus 5 during combat to all her stats, and reduces damage by 40%. Yeah. So it is enemy phase only damage reduction? It's enemy phase only. Or, or, or if they're a hundred percent, right? Yeah, which means that it could still be dual phase, which is very annoying. Yeah. Okay, she's like a basic like Gen Gen Five unit because one, she has the slaying effect. Mm -hmm. Two, yep. she has plus five to all stats. Yeah. Three, she has a built-in damage reduction. Who also did this? Legendary Dimitri. Uh, yeah, I think so. Or I know Claude also has some. Really Who does nasty this? Claude too. Who does? Brave Edelgard too. Who does this? Brave Dimitri too. I think. Anyways, Dimitri, th Brave Dimitri has the damage reduction, but. I think so. Honestly, I don't remember. I, I. But you're right. There's a lot of units that have a lot of built-in damage reduction for no reason. It's just there. It's just there. Oh, Saros. She has damage reduction and a B skill, and insane, insane death and res, and like a weapon that lets her. Prevent follow-ups. Mm -hmm. She can either double you or prevent you from doubling, and she can double herself. It's gross. Yes, uh, it is very gross. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So I saw this and I was like, "Damn, Mur is disgusting." With noon time, she's gonna be spamming healing, like healing herself. Distant counter. You know, she's got the both for it. Dragon's ire guarantees her a follow-up, and also sort of has like a null follow-up effect. And then she's got attack res rain, which is pretty much the best C skill for her. It's it's you. gross. It is gross. It is very gross. I know. And like for this abyssal one, like I can't even like one shot her with a dragon effective weapon unless I have like unless Julia has like her dragon fang charged up, then yeah, she does one shot her, but other than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only way to really take down Murr is if you have in you know a really strong archer or if of course you have like a dragon effective unit like like you do <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so she does still have weaknesses but like she's still gonna be very annoying to go up against i would not want to face a plus 10 harmonic mer i don't want to go up and then like that. the harmonic skill it just neutralizes flying bone flying effectiveness right right so she's still weak to dragon skills but like She's still gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with. Oh, yeah. So it's nasty. It's nasty. 
Yeah, they did a really good job with her kit, and her weapon is really good. I just don't see it, like, um, how do you say it, like, being power creep anytime soon. I know, that's oh. like, the that weapon itself is power creep. Yeah, it's really good. It's just, it's so many skills. That's like the thing with, that's the thing that they're doing nowadays with, like, PRF weapons. It's just like, how many skills can we pack into one weapon? Because you got the slaying effect, you got the... Plus, uh, plus five. five to all, yeah, you got the damage reduction. And of course, because it's a dragon, you got adaptive damage. Like, it's so much. I forgot it's... about the adaptive damage too, oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like, how many weapon effects can we just pack into one? It's... it's ridiculous. So like... She's not a legendary um, unit, but compare that... Oh my to God. like yeah. legendary tiki. Oh, yeah. Her like, weapon disgusting. is just distant counter and adaptive yeah, it's... damage. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, she what? totally power creeps them like effortlessly. It's it's unnecessary. <laughs> oh. I understand. Yeah. So she's not fun. Have you been running into her at all? So? Um. No. That's good. No. That's good. I would not want to. I, well, you're like, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I would not want to, and I hope I don't have to ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so then she's there, and then the only what other unit that was banner was the demo. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot Minerva. Yeah, I kind of forgot that they added it. It, it was weird because it was a Awakening slash Sacred Stones banner plus Minerva. Like, she was the uh -oh. only other, she was the only other unit. <laughs> Oh wow, speaking of Minerva. I'm not dead. promoting Fate Pass, not promoting Fate Pass, not promoting oh. Fate Pass. <laughs> oh my god. What match is this though? You probably could have gotten away with her dying, quite honestly. I'm Unless just graining out her feathers. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's good. I need her to live. Um Together we can uh, win. Oh yeah, but yeah, you should yeah. Just get out of there. There you go. And you can I probably see. have Ethlyn nuke him. I'll yeah, him. I can. He's he's got no resistance, so. Joy. Elise is dead. What did oh, they give Minerva again? I know she's the demo. So she got a a, a decent lance, horny lance, which again has the same weapon condition, attack speed plus five. If the foe's HP is seventy five percent or greater. She's got Bonfire, and she's got Attack Defense Solo 3, which is actually probably the best skill that she has for her, because we don't... The, if I remember correctly, the only other unit with Attack Defense Solo 3 would be Winter Ephraim. Really? Course, yeah. I mean, this excludes other units with Attack Defense Solo 4, though. Like, um... Like Pirate or Veronica, I believe. I think she's, she's like the only one. I think, or I think there might be one more. I think Shinon has attack defense solo four as well. My God, Shinon has like everything. <laughs> he's got, he's got, yeah, and he's another unit that is in the divine code path. He's oh. got attack defense solo four. He's got uh, lull attack speed. He's got times pulse. Man is, and of course, dead eye, which is what so many people kill him for. Yeah, oh my god, they gave him like everything. They really did. They really did. Like, yeah, he's a. Mm -hmm. If you're not building Norn, then you're building a Sheenon. Honestly, yeah, Norn is kind of the. I mean, Norn for the longest time was like the budget Midori because she's got really good mixed bulk. Uh, or like salvageable mixed bulk, at least. So a lot of people gave her like. Close foil, the spendthrift bow, etc. Um, but yeah, she could also basically be a budget Shinon too. Oh. I will do what yeah. I can. <laughs> and like no one uses Midori because she she just dies because her weapon is super good. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's so funny that okay, so it's so interesting to me that we oh, got this sorry. new bow on Anigo, the springy bow, because I'm like looking at it and I'm building Summer Wolf and I was planning on giving him the spendthrift. Um, but then I saw this bow and I was like is this bow better for him? And like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know. I still think the Spendthrift is probably still it. the best bow. Of course. <laughs> Spendthrift is the best bow in the game. <laughs> I, I think it's still better than the newest inheritable bow that we got. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's still really freaking good, so. Is Midori not... in the, the new mm -hmm. Divine Codes? Yes, Oh my is. god! <laughs> There's so many good units on those Divine Code paths. I honestly can't. I still haven't figured out which one I want to go with first. Yes. I'm just sort of like hoarding 
my toilet paper, and then I'll, I'll just dump it all at once once I finally get to the side. I know. Oh my god, we'll get, like, right to that. <laughs> we're, we're gonna look at it, because it's a treat. It is. They gave us so much, and it's, like... Together, we like, I feel like we all knew that we were gonna get new paths at some point, but we just didn't know when, and because they didn't announce anything during the anniversary, we were like, uh, okay, I guess I'll just use the the ones that we already have on the paths that we currently still have. And then, of course, they just randomly dropped them at the end of last month. I don't even remember what happened in the anniversary. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> right? I forgot like, it about was it. <laughs> it was only last month, but it feels like forever ago. I know. I'm kind of like, what did we do again? There was just so much that happened last month between like a hero rises and choose your legends and everything. It's kind of hard to believe that that was just a month ago because it feels like for, like so long ago. Now. Oh yeah, choose your legends. Oh, that thing. I know. Yeah, it it literally it's hard for me to believe that that was literally just uh last month. Uh, is what there... do you think about the the units that got into? Oh yeah! Oh my God! So who was it? Okay, so the bad that batter literally drops this Monday. It um, does? Yes, really? It, yeah, it drops this Monday. Mm -hmm. ah! So so it's going to be who is it? It's Duo Lin who won. Oh. Uh, legendary Corin, yes. Legendary Dimitri, and Mythic Seros. So it's. Double color sharing. Oh, but, that's not yeah. good. <laughs> I think that that's actually for for me for like somebody who. Okay, so I know that I'm summoning on my three houses account because I want both Saros and Dimitri, and because they're color sharing, it it's a win-win for me. Oh well, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, and I, I think that like if you're looking for fodder, it's a win-win because all of them have really good fodder. Because Lynn, she's got the rain skill. She's got Swift Sparrow. Uh, Corn, she's got Distant Counter, she's got Jointer of Attack. Dimitri, he's got Odd Tempest, he's got Sturdy Impact. Saros, she's got, what, Mirror Impact, I think, and then that uh, Dragon Wall skill. Like, they're all good units to pull. So, like, I think it's a win-win situation, and because they're color sharing, it just means that there's a greater likelihood of you getting a focus unit. So, if you've got a lot of orbs, I think it's a, I really think it's a good great banner to pull on but if you're sniping a unit i can understand it being frustrating i think that's me right there with my experience with color sharing <laughs> no yeah I, I i feel you on that because like with my uh new year's parade experience i totally understand that oh um, god <laughs> no yeah i totally get that it's just that like if i'm if the goal is to only get one of each or if you're just collecting fodder then absolutely i think it's a fantastic banner for you so I'm excited for that. Yeah, that's gonna start on Monday, and I believe that lasts about a week. So it should be fun. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be summoning. Um, is there any unit that you need from that banner? I mean, I'd love some of that Corrin's Joint Drive Attack. Yeah. It's so, yeah. it's a good skill. <laughs> it, it is, it is universally a great skill. Yeah, I think a lot of units would like it. I would not mind getting a Corrin. I would not mind at all. Yeah. Did you, were you one of the people that wanted a Saros or no? I, I didn't care for anyone. I just like I was a sellout. I just did not want Duel in the win, but she won anyway, so nothing matters in life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was very shocked. I was one hundred percent convinced that Saros was gonna wipe the floor and it was gonna win, and it didn't happen. It was crazy. It was just a battle of waifus. It really was. Oh wait, that so wait you have a Duel in now. What did you? Do? her got nothing she's just there <laughs> she's just there oh okay all right well after seeing what that thing has done to my defense team mm -hmm. do you plan to use her at all no well <laughs> maybe for like an ar i mean ar uh, arena salt check i guess uh-huh just be yeah. cheap yeah although yeah. I, I do use duo i mean duo um a legendary cloud and he's like really <laughs> crazy. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you got Legendary Claude. He's just like that his own like... unit. I just like use him and he like sweeps the whole team. And I'm kind of like, jeez. Uh, it's disgusting. Yeah, I, I watch Legendary Claude. Well, I remember when he came out. I was like, this is nuts. He's nuts. The stuff they gave him. I know. Okay, like Ooh. here's like the, the, the really hot... Um, Ooh, do you want to just go through each path really quickly? There's yeah, so much. We can yeah. start with the the this asshole game that keeps making banners. Um, three houses. Oh my god, 
yeah, I really hope we don't get any more three houses for a while. I need to save. I know, um, the Shadows of Valencia people are like, please feed us. Oh, they're starving. They're starving. Um, <laughs> the three houses path is actually pretty tame, in my opinion, compared to some of the other ones. Sylvain's all right. All he really has to offer is the Rouse skill. The Melon Float is not the best weapon, in my opinion. Not when we got Tharja's Plegian yeah. home. Not and then a chill ago. skill cares about chills, and then Rouse attack defense. We, yeah, it's it's okay, yeah. And then Annette's, um, Annette's pretty nice because she's got the Rally Ruse skill. So like, if anybody's trying to build a Rally Ruse bot, then there you go, right there. It's pretty decent, in my opinion. And this one, um, sturdy impact and guard bearing. Yeah, guard bearing is really nice because right now the only pool that has it is what is her name, Aaron, Aaronis. Uh, or, no, it's, um, Manya, or I don't know what, what they called her, I don't know what they translated it to, I only remember it's Manya, or... Manya? Oh. Or... I know no, not Manya, the... um, um, An Anand, or... Anand, yes, you're right. I think there her name, go. was yeah. her name not Manya? In the... Oh, well, I'm probably thinking of... Uh, old translation, no, I think, um... You're totally right, it's An It's either Anand, or... I don't remember, yeah, but you're, that's the name, that's for sure. Yeah, she's the only unit with guard bearing, so... I'm really happy because I really need guard bearing fodder for my yeah. batteries. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good. That's a nice. That's pretty solid right there. Like, who cares about the skill? But these two right here. Yeah, exactly. You can get yeah. um sturdy blow from like if you five star Athena, unfortunately, but yeah. then you can get these two. Mhm. Mm exactly. It's a good catch. It's a good catch right there. And then Bernadetta with attack speed push and low speed defense. Yeah, again, lull speed or lull skills in general just being super popular. And attack speed push, I mean, it's a really nice skill. I feel like attack speed pushes on so many units. It's kind of a dime a dozen for me, not gonna lie. Where but is like, attack it's... speed push 3 on? Is it on a free to play unit? Attack speed push 3 is on. The only free to play unit that has it is Patrine. Oh, there we Oh, well, people are set yeah. then. You can just get. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This. Uh... Yeah, I believe you can also get attack speed push. I think it was on Hoshiden Summer Elincia, who was in the first Divine Code paths for Tellius, I think. Um, but I don't know how many people actually got that. So. Oh. Um, if I'm, oh, you're yeah. right. Hey, there we go. Yeah, she's there. Oh but, my god, I got that dry res. Oh boy. Yeah, you're better off just getting it from Petrine if you happen to if you happen to get her last year. And then Byleth, ruptured sky. That's all you need. I think that's really the only reason they're there. Should Sky and Distant Counter. And I mean, Byleth is still a... Uh, it's still a decent unit. But yeah, Ruptured Sky and Distant Counter. I think that's the only reason. The only thing they've got going for them. My god, he has chill skill and this. Ugh. I know, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, it's very... um, It's very meh. Yeah. Yeah. And then the yeah. Heroes Awakening Fates. Ooh, so yeah, this is the one that I'm very tempted by. Um... Yeah, I don't... Arch, Anna's okay. Anna's bow is very support-oriented. I don't really care for Anna. So it's like, skill, she's so. like a sabotage bot? Yeah, basically. Um, her her weapon has a built-in sabotage effect. So you just, whatever, whatever unit you end, end up giving her bow to, you just want them to have high res. I feel like a unit who can make use of this is like um, the New Year's Plumeria. Yes. Yes, I mean New Year's Plumeria has a really good bow already, but yes. I <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot. She yeah, has a she, she has a mm -hmm. perf weapon, right? Yes, yeah, she does. But she is she is she would be a great unit for that bow as well. Yeah. Oh, and then we got the Solus Fiorm that I think yeah. everyone should have gotten for their. Yes, and <sighs> even if you didn't end up getting her, I mean Ground Order, fodder, and seeing Dazzling Staff available here is also a nice thing. So. They're both good choices. When they gave us free dazzling stuff because it's so hard to get in the regular pool. How generous. Right, right, yeah. Then here, uh, this one. The yeah, that's speed. a really good catch right there. Attack speed solo four and null no follow up. Yeah, that's really good. And then rail speed mm -hmm. defense, but whatever. But oh my god, attack speed solo mm -hmm. and null no follow up. Yeah, that's really good. They uh. just made that available like right in the middle of that. Yeah. Who would you give stuff. attack speed solo to? Um, well, I'm looking at building Gray at the moment, um, from Shadows of Valentia. I recently sold him, and I think I want to give him a solo build based on his weapon. So, if I were to get Corn, I would give that solo skill over to him. Ooh! And then yeah. Siri with close call. <laughs> yeah, and 
the Kestrel stance. I feel like they probably should have... I mean, if I were working for intelligence systems, I probably would have swapped Corrin and Sayuri, because I would say that Corrin's fodder is much more valuable than Sayuri. Oh my god, I didn't even see that! <laughs> <laughs> they probably made a mistake. The intern probably made a mistake. <laughs> Maybe, because, like, attack speed solo and no follow-up. Well, she definitely... also has a tier 4 skill and damage reduction, so okay. Yeah, oh. but the thing is that, like, now that we have Spurn in the game, I feel like Spurn is just so much better than Close Call, so uh, that's just my opinion, though, but I wouldn't... I would have swapped the two, but hey, it doesn't matter, because the last unit on the list right there is Midori, who is nuts as we already discussed. Oh, yeah. The only weapon that- <laughs> the only, like, bow people use. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they're ever gonna give that effect onto, like, a sword or an axe or a dagger. Probably not. I wonder if they even realized how disgusting it would be when they released it. <laughs> I know. Like, the fact that you can get spendthrift bow and, like, close foil. It's too good a deal. I know. It's too good. That's mm -hmm. why she costs 2000 <laughs> Exactly, yeah. And he... Uh... Um, the path, path of rad. Rad. <laughs> path of rad and rad dawn. Um, yeah. The theory Ileana. tome. Yeah, it's okay. We've definitely gotten a lot of other blue tomes since then. A lot of better options, I think. But it's still decent, I guess. And then free, um, free bolt fighter if you're into that, I guess. If, if you're into that, yeah. <laughs> if you're into using armor units, I guess that's that can help you. Right, yeah. And then, ooh, Distant oh. Defense 4. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting Distant Defense 4. I think that's exactly where I would put it, too, in that list. Like, the second unit. That's. I think that's solid, yeah. And if you want Vengeful Fighter or Distant Guard. <laughs> right, which is totally <laughs> available on, like, a th at this point. I know. And we yeah. got Nyla. Ooh, Sister I didn't know she came with that. Yeah, I'm really bored by Ni my by Nyla. I feel like she didn't. She should have been lower, probably, because like they should have replaced her with um the regular one with no counter. I agree. Distant counter and uh Nulsi disrupt. I totally agree. Cause she yeah. only has like like I don't know anyone who uses the duo. No, neither do I. Duo chill, yeah. but yeah. I guess Swift Sparrow. But maybe she could have been. Like down like here, a thousand, a thousand units have so Sparrow three. Like it's so common. I think like, everyone and their grandma has it. <laughs> honestly, like, duh. I didn't need to do that. Okay, and then he, this one, this one, um, Gatry, yeah, Crafty Fortress Fighter, Defense Res, and Crafty Fighter, and his lance is also still really solid. I think it's, it's still the really same nice as the Bride ones from last year, right? Yeah, the yeah the I don't remember what it was called, but that yes, that, free totally axion, right. that free axe that free axe axe unit oh another axe unit yeah yeah <laughs> it's still a really solid weapon for him because you know if he got it he gets a bonus active like armor march for example it's gonna activate so like it's nice because you don't have to use like a visible bonus like you if you run like you can't you can't lull your way out of a armor march you get me like you can't use a lull skill or panic skill to get rid of armor march yeah so, so it's a cool way of him being able to activate the weapon it's a good weapon for him. and then crafty fighter foe initiate unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack and inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on foe Ooh. yeah so it's vengeful plus guard um as a Opposed to the breath effect, yeah, it's really nice too. This They're one's both, nice, but fire. I think the the better one is the the slick fighter, the one that just neutralizes yes. your penalties. Yes, agreed, one hundred percent. Oh, and then Definitely. there's this asshole with every with like the most decked out like base mm -hmm. kit ever. Yeah, <laughs> it's he's loaded. The man is stacked. He's gonna die. He's gonna yeah, attack, it. defense, sell out, and then lull, and then times pulls, and then dead eye. <laughs> yeah, he's got so much. Yeah. Like, if you're not building Norn as, like, you're free to play, you're probably building Sheen on. <laughs> yeah, honestly. It is, like, exactly. dope, like, close counter situational bow. <laughs> mm hmm. It's gross. Uh, it is then, gross. Um, the blazing stones. This is, for me, the most boring path, personally. Like, there's, I'm definitely not pulling on this path at all, but, um,. What is Nar Narcian's weapon is nice. It's still a really good inheritable lance. It's the carrot cudgel nonsense, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Unit within two spaces. He grants attack defense plus five, and they can't be... And units pen uh, neutralize it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then lance. I don't know why Narcian, of all people, they put there, but... Mm. It seems like they always have a... 
Actually, no, I don't know why he's there. I right? He's there. <laughs> no, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a reason, but I was like, wait. From the same game, Pala and S. I don't know why he's there. I know. I think they could have put someone else, but I don't know. Nothing's coming to mind who they could have put. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. And this asshole that was color sharing with Duo Cigarette and maybe not Pool. <laughs> yeah, the Coral Bow is an. The Coral Bow is an okay bow, but like, why get the Coral Bow when you can get the Spendthrift? Bow? I know. It's a <laughs> We're going back to Spendthrift like, when you could just do this. Exactly. <laughs> like, why? And then he doesn't have anything else. Like, the rest of his fodder, what is it? Attack speed link and what is that? Fortify death. Four. Oh boy, how, how fun. <laughs> I know people don't like running the fortify because you have to be adjacent. Like, this is why people yeah, stick uh, with drive skills. Yeah, exactly. And then, um, I guess we could just, uh, Nails? Nails? N Nails is a good dance unit, for sure. Um, but, like, his fodder is very iffy. Infantry pulse, even pulse tie, and that's it. Oh my god, you gotta get your HP defense, um, skill. Right, yeah. I guess, yeah. you know, I guess infantry pulse is kind of, like, redundant, because Marissa comes with it, and you can just... I've killed plenty yeah. of Marissas from my infantry pulse team. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think it's because Nils has really good HP. He's also got like a super boon in HP and stuff like that. So I kind of wish he wasn't on here because he works better as like a unit that you can actually have because of Frost Breath and it's just like a yes, debuff. I mm -hmm. I agree, one hundred percent. Even though Plumeria, I think she does the job better. <laughs> yes, they do. They perform very similarly. Yeah. Then um, Mister Mister No Count No Counter Disrupt. Yeah, so he's got Nelsie Disrupt, and then he's got Bonus Doubler and Rouse Attack Press. I think it's okay. It's not, like, super baity for me. I know, I feel um, like for here, they should have put, like, the, um, the regular Nyla with Distant Counter and No Counter. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. here... Well, no one uses like... Bonus Doubler anymore, because pan there's just so much panic and yeah. so much lulls. Exactly, that's why no, like, it's very risky to run Bonus Doubler, doubler. yeah. So I don't I don't recommend it, but mm -mm. and then Guinevere with her um um effective yeah. against everything. <laughs> yeah, I think they put Guinevere there more so as a mer decent fodder, attack res push, lull attack res, and joint drive res. Like she definitely still has good fodder, but like it's just not what I need. So like I'm definitely not interested. In <laughs> Look at all those yellow anybody's... borders on one unit. Right. <laughs> if anybody's building a mage, then absolutely. Go for it. She's got some decent fodder for mages. I know. And genealogy and Thresha. Yeah. This path is also very tempting for me. Is um, it because of Ethlyn? Um, Ethlyn, almost every unit. Um, I want Ocean, I want Ethlyn, and I want Bridget. I want all three of them. Ooh, this one's actually really good. So, like, okay, like, he just has, like, air orders. I think that's a yeah. seal already. Air Orders is a seal. I actually like her B skill. The cantrip skills are kind of fun. They're an extra choice that dancers have now. It lets you, you know, inflict defense minus seven um, once you dance. So kind of like what Nils and... Plumeria do, right? Yeah, kind of like that. It just, yeah. And just I don't really know how to use this courtly mask thing. I think people just use Eldigan's lance. Right, so what is this uh, unit's... Grants attack rest plus five, and also foe can make a follow-up reduces damage. So basically, your unit wants to tank, be doubled. I guess. Yeah. So that's interesting. Interesting. Well, yeah, it's nice to have one of these options at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's. I think yeah. It's cool options. I don't know that anybody's gonna use them, but like they're cool options to have. Yeah. And then um, yeah. just yeah. mayor stance three guy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I like Ocean, so I will take the merge, but like Mirror Stance 3 is pretty solid fodder. I, I would take that. It's really yeah. good for AR because there's a lot of like mages. Yeah. And I like the, the, the cooldown charge minus one, it, if you have Pulse Smoke, it just works out really well because you won't oh. die. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's really nice there. Oh, yeah. Pulse Smoke plus. Oh, that's a really good combo right there. I know. And then, um, Marita. The, I, this is how Deirdre got her, um, her no follow up because I had a spare Marita. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know too many people that use Flashing Blade for, but it is cool seeing it here. And I think most people are probably just going to use her for no follow-up fodder. Yeah, no sure. follow-up is just really good. <laughs> it, it's just too good, yeah. Then Ethlyn with this, this cool weapon. I think this weapon's so cool. 
I know. It's such a good weapon. Comboed with Wind Sweep, it's really great. It's really great. It's one of... It's probably the best dagger that we have. Um, I think that the Broadleaf Fan is still really solid, but I think this one kind of, like, stole its position as the best dagger for... Uh, best Inheritable Dagger, I think. I know. I feel like you can even use this in, like, um, Arena with, mm -hmm. like, Courtly Fan and then just have, like, Poison Strike and have your your dagger unit be the debuffer if right. you're into I that. Yeah, no, totally. Totally just set the set the units up. And oh, I just joined Drake speed. speed. Yeah. <gasps> I didn't I thought it was I assumed it was like the I don't know. I didn't jo I didn't see the own one. speed or something. <laughs> I yeah. didn't see the the um I just looked straight at wind sweep and this. Oh my god, she has joint drape speed? Yeah. <gasps> she's got a really good you can grab both the fan and joint drive speed from her. That's the best part. Oh, and then you can get yeah. Wednesday from like Joshua. I think he has it and he's like free. Free? Yeah, you could probably get Joshua for like, I think, like you probably don't even need to four, five star him. I think you could probably just grab one, a wind sweep one and two and take three from Ethlin as well. Yeah, you get the, the, um, mm -hmm. you get drive speed. So you get the, that one down. Ooh. Yeah, she's great. She's a really good unit to, to get. Mm -hmm. And then this unit with, um, <laughs> the best C skill. Pulse yeah, smoke? Pulse Smoke, yeah, <laughs> for sure. The Helm Bow is also decent. Um, again, why use the Helm Bow? <laughs> when there's spend the... Threat, we can come sparing at the spend yeah. Threat. But, like, it's still a really good bow. She's got Harsh Command Plus, and she's got Steady Impact, which so far she is... The I only think, one, the only I think. Unit. Yeah, the only unit with it. So this is one that you don't see used, but I... I... It's niche, but I actually want it for one of my units, so I real that's why I'm really tempted. But oh my god, I keep going it... back to like AR and like you can use this to set up like some Wings of Mercy nonsense. Oh yeah, probably. Um what I'm really hoping for is that on the next double special heroes banner, she color shares with Jigensi, who's got Slick Fighter. Oh my that's god, I'm, I'm surprised for. Slick Fighter isn't in here. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. So if she, I'm gonna wait till, till we get a double special heroes banner. If she color shares with him, then I won't go all the way for her. I'll probably stop at Ethlyn. You get me? Oh my um, god! If they do share, that's a really good color to pull on. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then what is the last one? Mystery we got of Emblems. Mystery of the Echoes. Yeah, this one's also kind of a sleeper for me because the only unit in my opinion worth getting from here is chris who's all the way at the end i know so you got like melee bouquet which is um like no. pseudo sturdy impact yeah it's not really great in my opinion i don't recommend using it uh, well, well, look at that another the the demo unit with ardent sacrifice yeah it's hmm. he's got wings of mercy but like eh, eh, eh. and then um recruit with warning stance for but yeah but why do that when you could sacrifice the the plus two and get um yeah, exactly. Plus six? Exactly. Ocean. Much better. Yeah. Oh, man. These really do suck. Then they could have at least made it like plus 10 or something. Yeah, they should have at this point because now they're, yeah, they got power. I, I, it's not it's not directly power crap, but like, come on. Who's not going to You're just sacrificing two points and then getting plus six attacks. So. Yeah, it's it's too good. It's a good trade off. Oh, and I think you're familiar with this, this bitch right here. <laughs> <laughs> Get her away from me. Attack yeah. speed bond. <laughs> yeah, I literally got another one. Oh my god. The other day, okay, so I did a summoning session a few weeks ago when I was summoning for Gray. Uh -huh. And I was, uh, I, I don't think I, I didn't <laughs> say this in the video, but I actually went back into the banner after I recorded it. Um, with and I got a, I bought a few more orbs. And I ended up getting a Katria as a pity breaker. And I was very angry. It's like, oh, you're gonna spend money here. This is what you get. I was very <laughs> angry. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do with all those attack speed bond fours? Hmm. I I'm gonna give one to Sharena, who I I don't actually care for building the Asker trio, but I was like, I have a bond skill. Let me just give it to you, cause I know that it, at least you can be a little bit more useful. That once a <laughs> month quest that we have to kill a unit with Sharena, stuff like that. So. Yeah. If you really, if you're really invested in arena, you can even do it to give her harsh command. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should do that. I should grab both of them. You're right. It's so dumb. Um. Um. S. Uh. Esther's. Yeah. She, all she's really. She's got a dual chill skill, which I think that. 
I think they're overselling these. Like, they're not that great. I know, and then home and, flyers. Yeah, and Fury 4 is like, eh, it's alright, but, like, I don't need it. And, like, it's still in the first compile with, um... Um, oh, yeah, with Grail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Grail. He's, like, the mm -hmm. last path. And then, we obviously, they, like, oh, the best one yeah, for last. They really did. Like, that, he's, in my opinion, he's the only unit worth, pulling, like, actually spending. But, like, I don't, I don't want those four units before him. So I'm I not, know. I'm not this it. is already, like, right here. It's probably already, like, 4,000 right there or something. I don't know. Yeah, that should be 4,000 exactly, because it's 6,000 to complete a path. Yeah, yeah so you have lot. to go 4,000 and then spend another 2,000. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I mean, he's got Spurn and he's got Joint Drive Attack. Like, that's... And you can grab both of those. I know. So, oh, like, my God. It's so good. <laughs> it's such... It's so good, but, like... The cost. I, it, it's... Yeah, at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? <laughs> yeah. So, like... I can't do this one. Nah, no. Mystery of the Echoes? Nah, I Mystery can't of the Echoes? No. So, the winners... I mean, for me, personally, my winners are that one with Midori, the one with Shinon, and probably the one with Bridget. Like, I like all three of those, and I haven't, I literally cannot decide on which one I want to go for first. The winners, Heroes of Awakening Fate, and Path of Rad, and Genealogy 7076. Yeah, is there one that you think you're gonna go for first? Is there any thing that really like screams at you probably pulse smoke i'm guessing oh my god this path's really cool this is a really good path it oh my god like i can use this i can even give this to my deirdre well she does have defense rest solo but oh and then there's pulse smoke i could give that to deirdre too mm -hmm. so i could still keep on using fallen ike um yeah there's a lot like they gave it they fed us well with these so I i'm know. excited they yeah. fed us well at the cost of Shadow of Valencia people. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Poor Shadows of Valencia fans. They still haven't gotten a damn banner. Or like um with the, the spring banner, like they fed they fed like those people that like those units well at the cost of Shadow of Valencia. <laughs> they really did. I we'll see what April has in store, but like damn, those people are they're suffering right now. I know. <laughs> it's rough. Everyone else has eaten like um yeah the the awakening fans the gays have eaten <laughs> the, oh the, the shadow yeah. of the lunch people haven't eaten <laughs> they really haven't so like for anybody who doesn't remember i just now the last time that we got a new heroes banner from shadows of valentia was october of 2019 that's almost like what like a year and like eight a year ago? yeah it's almost Something gonna be like two that. years ago. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, they're it's almost not... done with the cast too, like all available units that you can play yeah. as. I think that's why it makes sense that they're delaying it because you know they want to like power creep. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. But, like I'm sure they're trying to prolong it as long as they can. Um, but if they really wanted to like prolong it, they should give us more alts for the units, like. We, we, there's no reason why they couldn't have given us some Shadows of Valencia units on the Spring Banner, but whatever. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, yeah. all they have is, like, your banner right here is Mycin, and then um, Zeke, and then um, Tatiana, and then yeah. what's another? Fernand, I think, would be a good Grand Hero battle, I think. Yeah, Fernand can be the Grand Hero battle, and then, like, Celica's Path, they could put, like, add in Dean, or, um, that other villager, yeah. for all his name is, um... Yeah, I think that they probably have enough to be able to squeeze out two good banners, like, two good new hero banners. Yeah, and then, like, um... Mycin... Mycin... I feel like Zeke. they're also probably gonna give us, like, Valentian Pala and Valentian S. Oh my god, that'd be point. such a freaking ripoff. I, I also would agree with that, but I feel like it is what they're going to do, given that they gave us... Oh my god, uh, like, when um, Balenci and Catra came out, I'm like, really? They could have used that spot for, like, another unit? That's my gripe with um, yeah, what I, I, Faye does. Yup. I also am just very tired of the White Wing sisters. I would like to take an arrow and just shoot it to their pegasus and like knock them out of the sky <laughs> this is why you're not gonna do this path because there's two of them <laughs> <laughs> there's two of them i didn't even rank i didn't even that oh yeah 
I, 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 just, I mean, everybody's entitled to like what they like. I'm just, I think that they are overrated. Is <laughs> it? Oh, you opened up a can of worms right there. Uh, yeah. Yup, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'll definitely be busy. I'm actually trying to get the toilet paper. I didn't care about the, like, I got the toilet paper, but like very passively. I only did two year. paths here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you, we only really got enough to maybe complete like two and a half, I think. I know, I but if you actually paths. do like the, um, those like limited battle quests, mm -hmm. I don't even bother. Mm -hmm. I, just... <laughs> I normally don't. I started literally this week. Once I saw these paths, I was like, oh, I got to take this shit seriously now. Imagine starting this. with this. Oh, no. No. Imagine... The the crazy thing is that you can use the divine code two pa uh two like you know you can use the new ones on these old units and I'm like who would do that? You're like who, who are getting this? Yeah, I mean like unless you're getting like a mer a merge then like yeah yeah then I just don't see it. And like so Deirdre's in here, but she I can't even put her in like the ether resource. She's just there if I want to plus ten another one. <laughs> Yeah, the only units that I... Because they, they also, like, did a good job of, like, pretty much bringing back all of these skills. Like, the only skill, I think, that's really here that's not in the new paths is probably Special Spiral and maybe nope, Mirror Impact. Nope, it's in here. No, I meant, like, they didn't bring it into the second path. Oh, I thought you meant, like, it's not in here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like, that's the only one. And, like, maybe Mirror Impact. And now, now they just want to give us, like, lulls. Lulls, lulls and, and no follow-up. <laughs> and no follow-up, yep. And lots of stance skills. <laughs> lots of stance skills. Oh my god, this one's so this this path sucks. Oh my god, <laughs> they're yeah. gonna oh, they're gonna make you work to get that, Chris. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, are you excited about any of the units in the Hall of Forms? I'm gonna guess not. No. no. But I'm gonna <laughs> ask anyway. <laughs> no, but I'll probably like build up Celica for fun because her weapon we're fine is actually kind of nuts. Yeah. Don't accidentally buy a unit. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> like Hubert. Don't do that. <laughs> Hubert, and he's still there, and I can't do anything with them. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't even play three houses. <laughs> and he's just there, and I can't use him. <laughs> just have a random Hubert. He's just there with, to soulless Hubert. <laughs> with all this good fodder that you can't see there. I was like, oh, this is really good. I can probably fodder him, and then, like, I probably should have read, like, the, um... Let me see what he's got again. What did you give him? I, I gave him, like, everything I wanted. <laughs> Sturdy impact, mystic boost, joy drive attack, rally attack speed, ruptured sky. God damn it. Oh my god. This is awful. It's a tragedy. <laughs> and am <Are> I... You... <laughs> Look at all this fodder that you have, though. Those two Lysithias with Times Pulse and Death Blow 4. I actually use this one yeah. for Arena Salt because she just, like, destroys everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. She does. But and I'm keeping oh, this plus... one the fodder off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would do that. I would do that. I definitely recommend. Oh my god, Barrack Showcase. Uh, it's, Barrack not, showcase. it's not great. Quote unquote. Okay. You got a lot, though. I know. I got Fallen like. Fallen Ike. Oh eh, my god. Fallen Ike, part two. <laughs> part two, it begins. Oh my god, Heldigan. I want to build Eldigan just like as a like green check and arena salt because how can you not build them with that artwork <laughs> i know his artwork is really really nice it's really gorgeous is this what they call drip <laughs> is this what they call <laughs> elden drip oh my god he does look great he does look very good um i mean what would you do with him would you give him the usual build that most people slap on aries um what is it like just encounter, vantage, uh, brazen attack, defense, and then, I was actually gonna be know. boring and give him like tri triangle adept so he can take out the the brave edelgards. <laughs> oh my god! I feel like if you really want a good brave edelgard check, you're gonna look for a, a red unit that has armor effectiveness, like like Lysithia. Um, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Lys well, uh, Lysithia for sure. Uh, Maybe I can I use this here. Oh boy! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> on oh my god! Honestly, if you had a baby Sita, that would be your there baby see it is still disgusting yeah i oh, I, you, I forgot when i got this one <laughs> you have one yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, your, that's literally your counter she counters pretty much almost everything i just plop her in front of everything you really could she's an enemy phase unit she's meant to 
And then the free Alencia you know, with the, the, the amazing ass that they gave her. <laughs> wait, what? I haven't seen that. Have you seen the ass that they gave her? Holy shit. <laughs> I am gay. I'm not looking for that. Oh. I look at it and I was like, holy shit. That's like in my face. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. And then they gave her like that thigh, the thigh fat thing with her stockings. I'm like, holy shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, she looks gorgeous. I just never looked at her art even. Yeah, like I look at her, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. So how did you get her? Did you happen to have the Fae Pass? And we're not supporting got... Fae Pass! <laughs> <laughs> Encouraging Fae Pass when I got her in the Fae Pass. <laughs> Every Tampa's trial video, it's a supporting Fae Pass. <laughs> there you go. Fae Pass propaganda. <laughs> and then my big ass head Tiki. Oh my god, Tiki. I actually kind of like her art. I don't like Tiki, but I, I think the artwork is actually kind of nice. They gave I her like, like a big ass head. They always do. You know. These, the proportions, ridiculous. Yeah. But I think it actually looks kind of good. I oh, like lolly, huh? And then like adult Tiki is just rotting. Adult Tiki is truly rotting. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got yeah. the, the, the dragon unit that you build. Yeah, I think Miss 180 BST. She's good. She is really good. Yeah, can't be helped. Yep. And what else? The the blue units. The blue. My my disappointing blue units with like outdated units. Oh my god. I yeah. got this one in um that um oh. when, when when was it? You know the one that they um. Was that last year when the they gave free 20... one or something? Yeah, yeah. I... For Golden Week, they gave us twenty tickets on this banner, which I'm sure most people were not happy with. Yeah, and I was like, oh well. Man, I can't even use that because Flow Nation grants attack. Ugh. That's so. His lance sucks. His, <laughs> lance, his lance sucks. It's literally just what? Bracing? No, not even bracing. It's sturdy stance, too. Yeah, and then they got, like, the only blue, blue unit you should look at is um, Hector. And then, literally. um. Literally. Yeah. The, the Tana that. She didn't need a resplendent. Like, how can you replace um, Kaboon's artwork with the giant thighs yeah, and boobs? <laughs> I, I was going to say, I actually love. I love Tana. She's my favorite Pegasus flyer. Um. I, I kept her original art, even though she got the resplendent. I kept the original art. I know. I think it's really pretty. Replacing Kaboon's artwork, like, uh. Oh, right. Hey, you want to see something crazy? I have a plus eight Tiki. Why? Because, um, she color shared one time with, um, Legendary Julia. <laughs> oh, no. Awful. Yeah. What do, you, what do you do with that? That's, like... What is that? Uh, she's not even good in spring? arena anymore. I think I remember talking to Tacho about it. <laughs> He's like, she's not even good. And I'm kind of like, oh. <laughs> I think she's, yeah, I think she's rough. She's Like, fine. compare this weapon to um, Spring Mer. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just distant counter, which God knows when t Legendary Tiki's ever going to get a refine if she does. Yes. <laughs> and Resplendent Nation. Yeah, I've got a, quite a few of those. I kind of sometimes blend units. Why are so like, many blue resplendent units? <laughs> they have given us quite a few. And then they? Reinhardt's gonna get his resplendent. He's gonna be like Chat Thundercock or something. Oh my god, that's right. I actually really like his blended art. Oh my god, they made him so hot, and I was like, what the hell? Where are your I small know. hands? <laughs> I was gonna say. Do you agree? Like... <laughs> they made him so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just me. No, they made him hot. And I was like, holy shit, Chad Thundercock. I, I've <laughs> never looked... <laughs> that nickname, oh my god. I've I've never looked at Reinhardt that way. Like, he doesn't... Like, at... he treated his small hands for, like, um... His face his... looks so chiseled. Like, the I bone know. structure. I was like, what? He looks handsome. I know. Like, they gave Owen, like, that... Have you seen that ass that they gave her? Oh, yeah. I the, remember. The cake that people talk about <laughs> yeah no i remember watching tacho's blended oh what it did yeah yeah I and then that. like no one's gonna use all one anymore because they gave rain hard a resplendent <laughs> yup i can't believe they did that i know what the all those chat heart chat heart um oh yeah and green i think i have a lot of greens because i always pull for deirdre <laughs> oh my god look at all the deirdres i have are you gonna merge her up or something? No, I just have her in the Ether Resort, but I could potentially m almost make a plus ten. Cause right here it's you um, almost could. yeah, it's a yeah. plus five, and then the one in the manual that's a plus six. Yeah, yeah, and then when Deirdre gets a Resplendent, because I feel like that's gonna happen at some point. I saw. I was like, wait, if Reinhardt can get a Resplendent and they both share the same tome, then 
Deirdre can get one too. It's just me being delusional, okay? Honest, honestly, I think she can. I really think that she can. I really think she will at some they point. They might give her, like, Embla or um the Dark Fairy Land. I can see that one. Oh, that'd be very cool. I would love to see that. Because Julia's, um, the Niffle. Oh, hers is so good. You know? It's so pretty. But I had, actually... I had no problem with her old art either. Yeah, no, it's she looked cute in the old art too. But the problem um, is that this it's... one just went with the the attacking Creepy. animation or like the special. Oh, that dragon is gorgeous, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, I'm not I'm... upset with this one. No, not at all. I hope that they almost get get the same artist because it's so pretty. I know they did have the same artist, um, like originally. Oh, the original artwork is the same artist, and I was like, oh, that's cute. They should do that mm -hmm. again. They should do that. I hope that they do. And then, um, a Yoon. Uh, oh my Yoon. god, the, the, my colors one is so awful. <laughs> I I don't have a lot. I just have, no, I feel that. I don't have a lot, and then people are going to be like, you have, like, like all these <laughs> units. <laughs> you do have quite a few, but, like, I see a lot of units here that aren't going to get used. I see you got Mila, because I know you got Mila during your stream. That I one. know. Pretty good you IVs. Use her a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, she shuts down those dancers. Oh my god, fuck mm -hmm. those guys. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And then they got Pretty Pirate nice. Tibarn, and then this Canicus I free pull that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. Oh, Corrin. that's just distant defense right there. What sucks is that I want to merge up Corrin because I like I um, oh. I kind of like the artwork. Okay, you can't go wrong with um Sencha's Sencha? artwork. Yeah. Sencha's yeah, Sencha does a really good job with Corrin. And I was like, um, oh my god, I can build her up for like a um my air. Wind arena, and I was like, "Wait, mm. arena doesn't matter." I mean, you're not wrong, but if you wanted to pull for her, I mean, and she also has joint drive attack, and I was like, "I can't fodder her off. I like, I like her." <laughs> okay, well there you go, and she's gonna be on a banner starting this day. Oh, huh. you remember you could get her there. I know, and then I got the first. I got a really shitty leaf with plus speed. Oh my god, that's awful. And then the yeah. second one I got was plus attack, and I was like, "Yes." That's much better. Why haven't you merged him? He's a really good unit. I'm just lazy. <laughs> That's fair. And then they got Claude, 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 Claude. <laughs> yeah, I remember people see reacting to that. And I was, he's actually really good. He got he got like crappy IVs, but oh my god. He's nuts. Yeah, he he's gonna do a lot of work just unmerged too. Mm -hmm. And then this bastard asshole bitch motherfucker. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn. Yeah, I foddered mine. I foddered mine pretty quickly. Who who would you give it to? I gave it to Summer Inez. Good my for Summer you. Inez. Would you I'm give him like the the Swift Sparrow and the the rain? The rain skill. Yep, that's exactly why. That is literally the reason I was team Lin from the beginning, and it actually ended up working out for me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. I was like, so this is what it felt like for everybody who voted for Altina last year. Feels good. Yeah, and then they, oh my <laughs> god, um. So I got the Zane. Zane from the, um, that free one that you get. Oh my god, that's right. The, the only free... demote unit. Oh, so rough. Oh my god. Who was on it? I think it was like Pirate Tibarn, and then there was like Tibarn. Duo Micaiah, and then was Ethlyn on it? Yes. And I was Ethlyn like, any was other there. unit, I would have been happy. And what did I get? The demote. Yeah, that's such shitty luck. Ugh. And people I... are like, he's good in Pawns of Loki. First of all, no one p plays Pawns of Loki, so... <laughs> I, I think a lot of people play it, but like I get very annoyed with it. It's my least. It's one of my least favorite modes. It can't go any faster. I just like tap 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 tap, and I'm like, come on, it, it, come on. It literally cannot go any faster. And the thing that frustrates me most about it is that you can't auto battle your way through it. Like you have to play it, I even know. if you're like rushing through it. There is no auto feature, and that drives me insane. I know. This is. And then here I have all my healers. Look at all of those. And by all my healers, I mean the flames, and that's it. And the Solus yeah. Fjorm. <laughs> yeah, the Solus Fjorm. So you ended up buying her, I see. Yeah, I I bought her. I bought Wait. I bought Ords, but the, the soul was a bonus. Wait, no, I agree. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I totally agree. But wait, what is that? What are those skills you're running on her? Like, just... Is that her budget kit? Her base kit? No. Yeah, no, um, this is her base kit, and then, um... I think she's, um, oh, she's got ground orders, I think, or something like that. Yeah, she has ground orders, but this is just what she came with. And then rescue. Mm. I got her with rescue. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I got rescue on my Fjorm, It's too. really good. Oh, it's so it good. It is. It's really good for yeah. AR. <laughs> I, I'm trying to build an 
uh, like a bridal theme team. So I'm really hoping we get some really good bridal units this year. I want Bride Deirdre. I've been waiting so long. I have so I have all these orbs hoarded up. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. I w that'd be really nice if they got a bridal alt. I wonder who's it going to be this year. It's going to be it Deirdre, mix... Deirdre, Deirdre, Deirdre. Because it's going to have to be like a canon couple. Well... I mean, then again, Makaya and Soth were not, are not a canon couple, so I don't know. Yeah, they're brother and sister. They're pretty much that, yeah. Maybe, we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll get dual Ephraim and Erica as the... <laughs> as the bride and groom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's gonna be the duo hero? If Makaya had dominance, what's next? Oh god, right? What is next? Submissive. She's very well. Oh my god, submissive! Submissive?! <laughs> <laughs> the sub. <laughs> Don't. Oh, oh my god. Subway. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Hey, uh, the funny thing is, I can probably see Bride Erica happening because in Awakening, she she was in DLC in the, the Bride class. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. It's got. A, it's definitely got a top Makaya, so who knows? I want Bride Deirdre and then everything will be complete, but... Yeah, I have no idea what they're gonna do. I'm not that. asking for too much. I just want a resplendent and a bride all. Is that too much to ask for? Thank God. I don't think I don't think that's too much to ask for. And I know. I'm pretty sure we're gonna I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Deirdre as a resplendent at some point. You know, I it's, see it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I think we talked about everything, right? Oh yeah, that was a lot. We covered a lot to It went from like the units to like the compile to my ugly barrack showcase. I didn't realize we had so much, but yeah, there was a lot to talk about. I know. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me on this TT run, Jordy. It was fun having you. Absolutely. It was fun again. Of course. It always is. Well, on that note, good luck with everyone on your Tempest Trial runs, and good luck on your summoning session. I hope you get exactly who you wanted, and if you're going to plus 10 any unit, well, more power to you. I hope I hope it works out well for you guys and you don't end up getting pity broken. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.